Shalom, Truth Seekers. I just wanted to give a little update on uh, Truth Seeker Sundial efforts from around the world. They're practicing this summer, uh, getting a feel for the sundials and like the straight line method. Uh, they're going to try and get real good practice this fall so that they'll be ready for the uh, spring equinox straight line method test. Uh, so I'm trying to collect everyone's data to this Facebook group, uh, Solar Tracking Observations confirming the created signs via Genesis 114, and I'll also have a description, in, uh, a link in the description below this video uh, where I'm collecting all the data uh, in a, a folder, organized folder directory by year, by month, and by date. Uh, if anyone wanted to find anything specific, um, you don't have to join Dropbox or anything. You should just be able to click on the link and uh, see what you want to see. But anyway... Um, just wanted to show some data that came in recently. So, looks like these truth seekers are located in Maryland. And they got like a, looks like 7, 7 in the morning. And they got a point that says 6.50. And then there's another point over there. So that was probably like 7 something. So this is an excellent data set. Uh, early morning point, late evening point. Uh, that's that's like the most important thing <laughs> for the straight line sundial test. So like this is excellent. If they collect data like this during the Equinox event, uh, I think they're going to have very uh, very excellent success at at being very easily being able to see uh, when that straight line occurs. So good job, guys. Um, here's some data that came from uh, Queensland, Australia. And they got from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. And, you know, as I said, ever they're just practicing. So this is a great start. Um, if at all possible, I do recommend the minimum amount of hours that you try and collect for the straight line is uh, probably something like 9, 8 to 9 as a minimum, if at all possible. Because sometimes if you only collect midway into the afternoon or morning, it it can make it challenging to see if it was straight or curved. So, I mean, some people might not have a choice. It looks like, actually, they might have run out of boardroom there. So maybe, I don't know, maybe they can reposition it and get a earlier morning or later evening point. Actually, they got a good early morning point. So, um, yeah, that 8 to 9 hours. So if their first point was at 8 a.m., like a minimum target would be like 4 p.m. or 5 p.m., if at all possible. And if you can't do that, don't worry. Do the best you can and just see. You'll get a feel for it. Uh, keep practicing this summer. Try and make sure you find the best location and then you'll see what happens this fall for the straight line. Uh, and you'll you'll just get a feel for how helpful it is. And in, 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 in with so many other truth seekers doing it this year, um, you'll have a chance to kind of calibrate your results against their results, probably. And uh, maybe you can you can discover that you only needed uh, seven hours of data and you were actually able to confirm the straight line or, or, or something like that. So just keep working at it. Good job, guys. Um, let's see what next. This came from, oh, I love this. Look at this. After my own heart, this looks like an Excel spreadsheet. I agree, really good data. Look at that, 7.42 a.m. and 6.40 p.m. That's a very good spread of data. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're going to be uh, another good one to watch in my neck of the woods. Haha, <laughs> good job, guys. Um... And then I guess the last one is coming from Prince George County, Maryland. And looks like they got, oh, 9.57 a.m. Okay, like I used to live on the side of a mountain and like that was the earliest I could get a data point in the morning. And um, I think I used to have success being able to pin down the straight line even with a point like that. But you'll you'll just have to see as you, you collect data. Keep at it, and you'll you'll see what works. Uh, a good interesting note here. So as they were um, collecting data, they noticed the tree was blocking their shadow data at the end of the day. So they could have maybe got a later uh, point.
but they'll they're gonna reposition their board and uh hopefully get get some more points so I just wanted to uh i don't know if I might uh just trying to <laughs> give people some feedback and keep people excited. You're all doing a great job um I might do um I don't know if I'll do this for for every release of of data but i d- I just wanted to kind of give people an update again there'll be a link in the description below this video and uh, it's really exciting to see uh, this group getting after um getting after the sundial data stuff uh, this is this is predominantly coming from the the covenant calendar group if you haven't heard of them uh, i recommend you check them out but uh, the the creator has put a passion on their heart to to get into this work and i say hallelujah for that um, and is, if anyone's interested in participating in this, like the big, the big picture is to practice over the summer, get real good practice over the fall equinox, and then you'll be ready for the spring equinox. Uh, so if you want to, if you want to join in this effort, you know, it's a worldwide effort trying to, uh, trying to pin down the creator's international date line, like where, where does this straight line pattern, where is it seen, uh, first, uh, on the earth it kind of changes position every year and you you need people around the earth doing sundial tests to to see where where the sun completes its circuit so you know where 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 it will begin uh so if you have an interest in joining this uh efforts the more the better uh please reach out to me my uh, email is a voice of truth and love at gmail.com or please leave a comment um below this video or uh, go ahead and join the Facebook group and uh, just just let us uh, just let us know join in uh, so uh, Shalom and may Allah bless you continually see how